Este es Aaron con InnetComputers.com otro video para de hoy. There's a new version of Java. I do not recommend Java. I'll be blunt and honest. I think it's sloppy. It's a pig. It's bloated. Very, 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 very insecure. I do not install Java unless I absolutely have to use it. I think I have one or two programs right now that re requires Java. Other than that, I wouldn't fucking use this software. But if you do use it, highly recommended that you keep it updated because there's always security vulnerabilities with Java. It's always been that way. So the latest version is 8.0.161.0.12, which another way to say it is Java version 8 and then update 161. Now, this is not the developer version. There's, I don't know why Java does this. There's a million different fucking names for the same software. It, it's known as JVM, Java, Virtual Machine, JRE. So I'm only speaking of JRE, which stands for Java Runtime Environment, which a, an average user would load it on their laptop or desktop to play games or a certain software application requires it. I'm not talking about the developer version. And there how many let's see there were three new features and let's go over it. I think five changes. Yes, three new features, nine changes. And 14 bug fixes. I'm not going to go over all of them. I just picked a few. Support for 8192. I think it's Diffie, Hellman. Oh my fucking God. Ephemerality bits and 3072 digital signature algorithm bits. Rivas, Shamir, Edelman, public key validation, RSA, DSA. Restrict DSA keys to less than 1024 bits. Generated keys stricter. Java virtual machine crashes. There's so many, there's three changes, nine, no, three new features, nine changes, and 14 bug fixes. You can check them out on your own because I link directly to the source because that's how I roll. So in my blog post in the description box down below on YouTube and Daily Motion, Top Buzz, they suck because they don't allow you to link. You're not allowed to link. You cannot put any hyperlinks in their descriptions actually top buzz they are control freaks just like YouTube I'm not really a fan of top buzz anymore and their payouts are p pennies on the dollar that the traffic is pathetic at times I don't want to talk about fucking top buzz but I'm not surprised and then a lot of these bug fixes and changes I don't understand because I'm not a software developer I'm not a hardware engineer it's a lot of abstraction and a lot of, you know, fucking acronyms and a lot of long terms. And I don't, I'm not a developer, so it, you know, it is meaningless. But some of the basics I understand. You can always update Java on Windows. Let's go over which operating are supported. Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, and 10. Macintosh OS 10.73, which is Lion. Most Linux distributions support it. Fedora, Suzy, Red Hat, with, well, you know, I would say CentOS, Enterprise Red Hat, Mandriva. Well, I don't think Mandriva is supported anymore. Suzy, Linux Mint, Debian, blah, 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 blah. And Sun Solaris. There's both x86. I should have included that in my blog post. I can fucking add it later. There's both x86 32-bit and x64 64-bit support for Java. Java, eh. Websites use it. Games use it. Financial programs use it. I don't use it. But there was like, I think it's, what was it, CyberDuck? I think one of the applications I used for my cloud, well, it's my content delivery network. In order for me to upload files that are a certain size, I have to fucking use this application that's free, but they require Java. Other than that, I have no uses for Java. Just like Adobe Flash Player, nope, nope, buggy, 
security risk. Just, I don't do it. But that's just me. Anything else about Java? You can always install the latest version of Java because I included a static link in my blog post on my website, intercomputers.com. Basically, Java, there's an automatic notifier on Windows 10, you know, blah, blah, blah. On Windows, micro crap, micro slop, micro shit, Windows, wind blows, excuse me. There's an automatic updater. You can turn that off, but I think by default, when you install Java, the automatic updater is enabled. What will happen is it will automatically download the newest version of Java, then it will notify you that there's a new version, and then you click on install and blah, 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 blah. But you can change that. You can set it to never check for updates and also to just notify you. Linux, I think there's something similar. Is there an auto notifier in Linux? Again, I avoid using Java. Actually, on Linux, there's an open source version of Java called, I think it's called Ice-T. So I started using that one. Linux, you know, apt, get, dist, upgrade, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Macintosh, I've never loaded Java on a Mac. But if you cannot get the installer to work, the updater, you can always download it from the static link, which I included in my blog post. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I've wasted way too much time on Java. I really have. I don't like the software. I've never liked it. It's bloated. It's just security risk all over the, you know, all kinds of security problems. But, you know, adios. <laughs>